Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this is for the week of September 30th through October 6th, 2024. So this will be a shorter reading this week, but I did just post the monthly readings and this upcoming weekend, I'll be posting the quarterly readings, which will cover October, November, and December for the fourth quarter of 2024. So make sure you're subscribed to see all of that and you can check that out. We also have the Eclipse season and readings, which will apply um, on October 2nd this week, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Libra. So this will be a very significant time for you, Cancer, being a fellow cardinal sign of Libra. So let's see what's happening this week. We have the 10 of Earth as your first card. Wow, this was the very first card for Taurus as well. So really good energies there. Some of you may be dealing with the Taurus actually. Um, but yeah, this is long-term energy, long-term prosperity, uh, happiness, success, some good financial energies here as well. Um, definitely feel like, uh, there, there's some good security, some good padding, uh, that you may be saving up when it comes to like your wallet, your bank account, um, good insurance, um, just making sure that your, your home, your bills, everything are covered. Some of y'all may be paying your bills, getting it out of the way early. And yeah, I just feel like you're very grounded, very settled. And it seems like your mind is focusing on the long-term, long-term happiness, long-term success instead of short-term gain and pleasure. We have the wheel of fortune coming out in reverse so I definitely feel like this week will throw you for a loop <laughs> I feel like there's some sort of unpredictable energies that may happen and occur this week uh, news coming in out of the blue developments happening out of the blue um, there could be some I don't want to say misfortunate circumstances but there could be some issues that you deal with or even like dramas that you deal with uh, between you and someone else or something else that sort of pop off. I mean, eclipse, anytime around the eclipse, there's just stuff that happens, you know? <laughs> so I see stuff happening, but the thing is, it'll look so differently for all of you. It's kind of hard to pinpoint unless we're in a personal reading, which you can certainly get. Um, I do offer month ahead readings. So you can get a, a month ahead reading for October personal if you want to talk about that more. We have the Hermit coming out in reverse for you right next to that. So, uh, any Virgos in your life, I would keep an eye on. Um, they could be going through a rough time. That randomly came through. So um, yeah, if there's any any Virgo in your life that you feel like is going through, through it, um, reach out to them, I would say. But uh, yeah, with the Hermit in reverse, there could be a sl ever so slight sense of um, loneliness this week. However, the funny thing is, Cancer, I feel like for a lot of you, this past month of like September, you maybe have been overbooking yourself, overdoing it a lot. And then it's like, okay, this week I'm just gonna stay in. And that's exactly what you do. And you're like, oh man, I wanna go out. So it's funny how that works out sometimes, but I am seeing a little bit of that energy there. Um, people are not consciously trying to avoid you. Uh, I would have, you know, I feel this energy of like, getting in your head a little bit uh, about relationships or friendships, you know, sort of having these sort of older insecurities or feelings, they may be popping back up very temporarily. Um, so that could be what you have to deal with uh, or, or you may be struggling with slightly this week, but I think you'll get through it very quickly. We have the messenger of earth coming out in reverse. We're now in the second row here. And um, this can be, you know, wanting to move forward in a very physical way, wanting to be near somebody. I don't know why I'm getting this, this feeling of like wanting to mm, be in the presence of someone or move a friendship or relationship along and trying to figure that out, trying to navigate that. So yeah, or wanting to move forward with your, your own life, your own career, your own foundations and success. We have the messenger of fire right next to that. So there's certainly high levels of passion. I don't know why, um, especially high levels of passion mixed with like a lack of physical action or connection combined. I mean, I would not be shocked if any of you or in like a long distance relationship or some sort of friendship or connection where it's like, I want to see you more, but for whatever reason, I can't. Um, maybe the other person is busy. And again, that could take us back to the hermit card being in reverse here, which is like that feeling of loneliness, but you're not actually lonely. Like you probably have a lot of people in your life, 
but you may be craving a certain person or a certain energy that isn't available all of the time for you right now. So that may be a challenge that is in a certain relationship of yours that you may be dealing with. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any other big challenges between the two of you, whoever you and this person is. Like I, it could be a perfectly healthy friendship or relationship. It's just like that one little challenge. Um, so there is that. But I definitely feel like you're not short on passion here in your life at all. You probably have a lot of drive, a lot of energy this week to get things done, to be creative, to be passionate, you know, and discuss that. So that's really great. And then our final card out here is the Empress coming out in reverse. I don't know why I'm feeling a sort of longing and desire. It kind of feels like um, when you're sort of in a newer relationship and you just want to see them all the time and you can't, you know, so it's not necessarily a bad energy that I'm feeling here, but it's more so an energy of longing and trying to navigate that. And with the Empress coming out in reverse underneath that Hermit card in reverse, I'm telling you guys, like there could be an old feeling that sort of creeps back in temporarily, uh, like an old feeling of lack, like I don't have enough or like what if this person's lying to me or blah, 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 like anxiety maybe creeping back up, but I feel like you're gonna deal with it very quickly. And this could actually be a good opportunity to be, be more vulnerable, more open with your emotions to certain people. Uh, I would recommend journaling about it and understanding that it feels like there are good people in your life right now who do see a long-term vision with you, but you may just not be believing them right now or feeling a little bit insecure. So try not to self-sabotage. Like there are good people in your life. Um, there is a lot of long-term success going on in your life and the things that are happening in your life, like it's good. Your life is good right now, but it, your own mind may be convincing you otherwise or tricking you into thinking like, oh, what if this is happening? What if that's happening? So just pay attention to those thoughts within yourself okay like what is intuition versus what is um fears that are rooted in the past and that's why journaling is so great because it can really just give you a time and space to unpack all of that and figure out which is which okay thank you guys so much for joining me definitely watch for your sun moon rising and venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead like this video comment how it resonated down below subscribe and share it with your friends and if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org i also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there so check it out Bye bye